now that we have this 10 by 10 room, um, we're going to want to save it. So we can go here and select like the folder. I don't know why I have two, but I'm just going to click the first one. And I'm going to type um, lesson one, or I'm going to type like beginner floor plan one, and then just save it. And it'll say saving. And finally, when it's done, saving. There we go. It'll go like, you know, light gray, and then that'll be saved. So if we ever needed to access the model again or this file, click the three little lines, go home, and here it is. We can click on it. Um, okay, so we saved it. That was the first part. Now what we're going to do is kind of learn these commands over here on this side, on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and start with the walls. So I'm going to double click with my selection tool a lot of times. So I'm just going to kind of do one, two, three. I'm just going to select everything that's attached to, you know, this surface. So I want all the walls selected, but I don't want this surface selected because I just want the walls selected. The surface is not a wall. So I selected everything. I can hold down shift on my keyboard. Oh, we'll make sure I have the selection tool. And then I can hold down shift on the keyboard and see how it has a little plus and minus. And that means that once I'm holding down shift, it will take away or add to whatever I'm going to click. So this is already added. So we'll do the opposite and it will take away this from the group or from the selected stuff. So I'm going to hit shift and select it. And now it's only highlighting the walls. So we could see that clearly. It's only the walls. Grab the selection tool again. Make sure all the walls are selected. We're going to right click and we're going to hit make group. So let's orbit around it. And now we can clearly see that the wall is a group. So let's look at this. So the, all the walls are selected. And if I wanted to move it, we could all move it and we could hit the back tool. We grab the move tool. And we're going to kind of move it in along the green axis. And you could see now that all these things are a group, it'll move as a group and not individually. So if we were to grab, like, look, this is not a group right here. This this surface because there's like four lines there's a surface um, if I were to move this line with the move tool it's just gonna move the line it's kind of not going to move the surface so see how it's just moving the line we get the back tool right there to go back um, it needs to be as a group if we need to move everything okay let's go ahead and hit the back tool So there we go, that's a room. Let's say, um, let's say we want to edit the, the walls because we want to put a door in it. Well, I can't really do anything much with this because it's a group. So I cannot edit the group until I double click into the group. So what I want to do is I'm going to double click into it and you see how everything around it kind of becomes like faded while the group is still visibly clear. So if I wanted to move that surface down below with my move tool, like it really wouldn't because I can only edit the stuff in that group. So let's work on clicking in and out of groups. So double click in the group click out of the group. Double click in the group and click out of the group. Okay, so you need to know what that looks like. So let's go ahead and double click into the group and we're going to make like a door opening. So let's kind of position ourselves like we're looking at one of the walls from the inside. Let's draw a door. So let's draw a measurement or let's get a, the pencil tool. 
and I want the door starting one foot away from this wall, okay? And we're gonna draw, let's say a three foot door, a three foot wide door. Well, I want it one foot away from here, so I need to find the measurement one foot. So I'm gonna click, go along the green axis. You could kind of see how it's green. And we're gonna type one foot, enter, okay? So what happens is it creates a surface and it created the one foot. The thing is we can't really see where it's at. So if you kind of hover over it, if you kind of hover over the area, you could find the end point. So you want to click it and we're going to go in the up direction along the blue axis. So on that blue axis, we're going to go in that direction, and we're going to type 6 feet 8 inches. Remember, we hold down shift, and we do the little inch sign. And we're going to click Enter. So it went up 6 feet 8 inches. I haven't clicked anything, but now I know I want to go along the green axis, and I said this door is going to be 3 feet. So I'm going to hold down, or I'm going to put it, my mouse in the direction I want it, and type three feet and click enter. And now I want to go back down. Okay, I can't just go down wherever, I, wherever I'd like. I have to be on the blue axis. You see how it's allowing me to go on the red, on the black? I still need to be on the blue axis. Up and down is blue. So I have to go down. I could type in six feet, eight inches, or I could just go and snap it on the edge. I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to click. Now, let's go ahead and select this blue surface that it made when we made this one foot line. <coughs> so I'm just gonna select it. And I'm gonna click delete on my keyboard. So that should erase that blue glare thing that we, were, that we had. Now with our selection tool, let's select this surface that we just made. So because we made like all, we added these lines, now this becomes a surface and this becomes a surface. There are two different surfaces now. So what we're going to use is our push and pull tool. We're going to select it. And remember I said it pushes and pulls surfaces and we're going to want to push a surface now. This is going to be our door opening. So we're not making the door itself, but we're making the opening. So what we're going to do is click, and you see how we can push? And we're going to push through. So we're going to kind of push to where you can see that glare, and click. There we have a door opening. And now let's go ahead and check our dimensions to make sure it's all correct. So our tape measure, one foot from that wall, I'm going to use my keyboard, click escape to let go of that. From this point to this point, six feet, eight inches, escape. And from that point to this point, three feet. Perfect. So now we have our walls. And now we have this surface. That's, it's not a floor, it's just a surface right now. So let's go ahead and I guess I double clicked out of this out of the group, but out of habit. I didn't, I should have told y'all I double clicked out of it. Um, but I didn't. Out of habit, I did double click out of the group. And now if I needed to edit this because of any measurement that was wrong, I would need to double click into it to edit it and I could double click out of it. 